Welcome along to our sixth video tutorial where we are learning how to transition from block-based coding in Scratch over to real text-based coding using Python. In today's tutorial we're going to be looking at creating some stars using both Scratch and Python. To get started in Scratch, what we're going to need to do is head over to our events tab and bring in when the green flag is clicked or when our program is started. What do we want to happen? So first of all, I want to go to my pen tab here and choose Erase All. Okay, remember if you haven't got this pen tab up, just go to the Add Extension button here and just choose Pen. Okay, so the Erase All tab, just make sure that our canvas over here, or our stage, is completely wiped clean when we start drawing each time we press that green flag. From there, we're just going to uh, make sure that we are pointing in the most appropriate direction, which is 90 degrees for us today. So that's going to have us pointing out to the right. And I want to set up my pen color here. So the first star that I'm going to draw, then in my pen tab here, I want to set that color to, oh, it doesn't matter what color you use. Something that's going to stand out on the white background, so I might just choose a bluey color. Okay. Once we have got our pen color chosen, we can lift our pen up off the page. And we're going to go to in the motion tab there, some X and Y coordinates. Simple ones today, minus 50 for the X and minus 50 for the Y. So that just moves us a little bit to the left and a little bit down from the center of the page. Once in position, go back to your pen tab and choose the pen down um, block. We are now ready to start drawing. So to draw this star, I'm going to use a loop. We should be getting pretty good with loops now. So we've got this repeat loop. And I'm going to repeat this loop, um, or this, these blocks of code, five times. And what I'm going to repeat five times is simply moving 100 steps. And the angle that I need to swing around at is clockwise this time. We haven't used clockwise yet. So we're turning to the right at 144 degrees. And if I give that a run, we get a star. A little bit hard to see behind the big cat there, so I might just change the size of the cat to 30 pixels, but there we have it. That has drawn a fairly simple star. Okay, I'm going to draw a second one now. So I'm going to duplicate all of this code by simply right-clicking on it and duplicating it over to here. Now we just need to get rid of that when the green flag is clicked at the top. I don't want them drawn at the same time, because that's just going to confuse our our pen or our little cat there. So what I'm going to do after the first star is drawn, I'm going to go to events and I'm going to broadcast a message. And that message name is going to be um, star finished. Click OK. So that just tells me that the first star is finished. And then over here, we bring in the block that says when I receive message one and change it to when I receive star finished. All right, so when I receive the message that the first star is finished, okay, we don't want to erase all. We do want to make, oh, actually, we should be pointing in the right direction anyway, so we probably don't need that point in direction and scrap that one. We'll change our pen color though to, let's say, red. Lift our pen up and change our coordinates. This time we might go to 50 and 50. So a bit to the right on the x axis and a little bit up on the y axis. Once in position, our pen will go down. We'll repeat the following code five times. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see if that works. There we go. Perfect. So I've got two stars drawn. Okay, that's basically all I really need to show you here. One thing that we can change, just change the look of the star a little bit, is the way we turn. So let's look at this red star here. We were turning right at 144 degrees. Let's get rid of that and turn left at 144 degrees instead, and watch what happens. Okay, you can just see that that red star has been tilted on a bit of an angle there now. So if you want to go for a slightly different looking star, you can turn left instead of right um, when you're drawing a star. But that's all I need to show you there in Scratch. We've now drawn a star, a simple star. Remember, I can't fill it in in Scratch. I don't know how to do it quite easily um, in Scratch. So we're just going to leave the outline of these stars here. But when we jump over to Python and start coding, we can actually fill these stars in with a chosen color and make it look pretty good. So let's head over to Mu now. And to get started, 
Let's use that same line of code from turtle import star. So from that turtle module, that library of code written by somebody else, we're going to import all of the functions inside of it to allow us to draw on the screen. Now we're going to start with a comment that says blue star. And we're going to set our color up first of all to blue. Easy. Next thing we're going to do is lift our pen up off the page and we're going to go to a set of coordinates. I think it was minus 50, minus 50 for this one. Uh, once in position, we put our pen down on the page and I think we're ready to go. So to draw the star, it's for I in range 5 and we put a colon. That just says we're going to repeat the next few lines of code five times. When you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented. That's just um, Python's way of saying this is the code we're going to be repeating in this loop. So we're going to go forward. What did I go forward? I went forward 100 steps. So we'll do that again. And we turned right 144 degrees. Once we've got that, we should be right to go. So let's save it. We'll call this one six stars and give it a run. There you go. So you can see in slow motion your star getting drawn. That looks perfect. What I want to do though now is color it in. So all we need to do, if you can remember from previous videos, is write in begin fill before we start drawing our star. That just turns the fill color on. And after we finish drawing our star, we write end fill. Now remember, after we draw the star, end fill is pushed back to the left hand side of the page. It's not a part of that loop. Okay, so it doesn't, it shouldn't be indented like that. It needs to be pushed back over here to the left hand side of the page. It's just these two lines of code that are part of the loop. That's why they're indented. They're the ones there that we are repeating five times. Okay, so now that we've got begin fill and end fill in there, that star should get drawn first of all, and then should be filled in blue. Now if you're on a Mac computer, it's not going to fill in properly. You're going to be left with the center of the star. It's kind of a um, pentagon shape that's empty. If you're on a Windows machine like me though, you will get the perfectly um, filled in star. For Mac users, you've done it right. There's just no way around it. It's just a bit of a glitch um, with Macs and Python where it just won't color in the center of the stars. But it's not an issue. Okay, you're not, not going to lose any marks for it. I might start on the red star now. So let's just press enter a couple of times. Put in a comment that says red star. Okay, now... The code here is pretty similar, so let's do a copy and paste job. So let's highlight everything we had for the blue star, copy it by pressing Control C, going down beneath the red star comment and pressing Control V. All we need to change is the color to red. The coordinates should be 50-50. Um, everything else looks good. Instead of turning right, we're going to turn left. All right, so let's give that a crack. We'll give it a run. We should get the first star drawn. Got the second star drawn, and it's as simple as that. Don't forget as well, we want to jump over and hide the turtle at the end. I don't like looking at that little turtle shape at the end. Hey, beautiful. So you now, now know how to draw stars quite easily using both um, Python and Scratch. I might just add at the start of my Python code, speed zero. It is a little bit tedious watching those stars get drawn line by line so um, now that you know how it's done you might as well put the speed to zero so it speeds it up and draws them quite quickly okay so there are the two different stars that you can draw quite easily using a bit of code catch you in the next video